Attorney General, I want to explore the dangerous crisis at our southern border and your role in causing that crisis. Asylum traditionally is reserved for people who face things like religious persecution, persecution for their political beliefs, or violence because of their race or ethnicity. In June of 2021, you changed the department's asylum rules so that it could apply to individuals with significant gang violence in their home country. Is that 2021 interpretation still in place? Uh, it is. It reinstates a previous interpretation uh, that the department had had of the same um, asylum rules, yes. Okay. Do you know the most recent murder rate in Honduras? I'm sure it's enormously high. It's 36 per 100,000 people. What about Colombia? I, I don't know. 23 per 100,000. Guatemala? Again, I don't know, but I believe it's Seven, quite high. 17 per 100,000. What about Mexico, right across our southern border? I also think it's very high. 28 per 100,000. So I have to say, since you rewrote the rules of asylum based on the perceived degree of violence in these countries, I'm a little surprised you didn't know those, but let's look a little bit closer to home. Do you know the murder rate in New Orleans last year? I don't, but I want to be clear, this wasn't based on violence. This is ba based on threats specifically to individuals, on gangs, where the country was unable to protect the person. That's what it was about. So, it wasn't about violence well, in general. Well, okay. Well, you're partly responsible for protecting Americans. So let's see. Honduras, this government can protect its own people, except for 36 out of every 100,000 for murders. Guatemala, 17 out of every 100,000. The murder rate in New Orleans last year was 70 for every 100,000. What about St. Louis? Again, it's very high. I 68 think. per 100,000. What about Baltimore? Also very high. 58 per 100,000. Yeah. Should American citizens in places like New Orleans and Baltimore and St. Louis begin to seek asylum in countries like Honduras and Guatemala under your asylum principles? Again, I'm saying that the principle here is protection of specific individuals who are being uh, uh, threatened by the gang and where the local um, uh, country is unwilling or unable to protect them. So, so is the United States government and the city governments of St. Louis and Baltimore and, and New Orleans unwilling or unable to protect its I don't own believe citizen? I don't believe they're unwilling. They're well, doing everything that they can. We're supporting them in every way they can. The examples so, you're talking about are ones where they are unwilling to protect from gangs. So, Mr. Attorney General, one of the reasons we have a crisis at our border where we have illegal aliens running to our Border Patrol, not away from our Border Patrol, is this interpretation of asylum. That anyone anywhere who lives in a dangerous or poor country can come here and seek asylum, as opposed to seeking it as is traditionally the case for things like persecution on religious belief or political practice. But let's, let's, move on. let's move on, Mr. Attorney General. Yeah, but I that's not the standard. I want to be clear. I, I want